here with Fawn Chu, 2011 Miss Grand Rapids Bikini at Endurance Fitness in Kenwood, Michigan. I want to start out the interview. Just please tell us what got you into training, what inspired you, why did you come into the gym for, from the first day? Um, really, I've always been into fitness and I've always been in and out of the gym and coming to the gym so much I've gotten to know a lot of people here. So they've actually were the one that ta has talked me into trying to compete in 2011. So, and I agreed and tried it and fell in love with it. And that's how it went. Awesome. Now, for a lot of people that aren't watching or uh, don't know about the industry, there's five divisions. There's bikini, figure, fitness, physique, and bodybuilding. You're in bikini, but you still have good muscle. You're strong. You know how to train. What's, uh, what are some tips that you can give to women that are looking to get into bikini competition? How much do they train? Should they focus on the weight? Should they focus on cardio? What are some suggestions that you would give to them? Um, my suggestion would, obviously, I, for myself, I try to go every day, but at least five days a week. Um, I would focus on, focus on you know, heavy weights and high reps also, just to get that tone. Um, but dieting is key, obviously. Uh, you want to stick to a healthy diet, not cut out your uh, sodium and sugar, try to eat clean whenever you can. Obviously, you can still have your cheat day. Otherwise, diets will never work. <laughs> now, you're talking about your cheat day. Let me ask you, uh, as far as car carbohydrates go, uh, is there a, a cutoff at, during the day? In other words, uh, you know, when you're three, four hours away from bed or maybe in the morning or how do you, how, how do you work carbohydrates into your daily routine, your diet? I usually have carbohydrates for breakfast and, uh, and another meal throughout my day, but yeah, I try to avoid eating too much carbs right before bed. Okay. Now, as far as cardio goes, um, is this something that you do every time you come into the gym or is it only on a certain day, or how do you work cardio into your... I do cardio every day when I hit the gym after I lift, at least 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. But oh, yeah. when it gets closer to my competition, uh, depending on how lean I am, I try to do at least an hour. Okay. Now, with cardio, and you're probably going to get a lot of questions about this at the seminar, but um, is there a preference, a treadmill, elliptical, stairs? Um, do you even do the bike? A lot of people say the bike isn't really intense enough. Yeah, I don't really do the bike just because it seems kind of boring to me. I'd like to do the Stairmaster or Elliptical. I'll hop on the treadmill once in a while, but yeah. Okay. Well, we could ask you a lot more questions, but you're going to be at the Physique, Figure, and Bikini Seminar next week at Infinity Fitness in Lansing. So if you just could, just take this opportunity to thank those of you that have helped you, uh, that are instrumental in your prep, your coaching, Whoever you'd like to thank, this would be the time. And of course, thank you for doing this. <laughs> thank you. And I would like to thank Sarah Moylan for you know coming to me and helping me with my posing. And I'd also like to thank Omar Henderson that has helped train me throughout the whole competitions. Awesome. And also, you have a Facebook page. Uh, people can find it by searching for your name. Yes. And your name is Fong Tu. Fong Tu, P-H-U-O-N-G. Last name is T-U, T-U. Okay, and what kind of stuff can they find on your page? What, what kind of stuff do you put in there? Um, a lot of it, you know, it's my friends, but the, um, I have a lot of workout pictures on there. I'm sponsored by Pitbull Supplement Company, so I have a lot of, you know, information about them, and I have workout pictures with their gear on. And Fantastic. So hopefully we'll see you next week, and thank you again for doing this interview, the training clip, and all the photos.